What happens when you get too comfortable as a content creator and doing a first impressions of a collaboration video? You lose the footage because that's what happens when you're a brain like mine shooting at 100 miles an hour. These things tend to happen. Well, let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto a new website selling samples and a fragrance line that I never heard of that is very intriguing. Blessed well, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Today's video is sponsored by a website called SenseAngel.com. Not Sex Angel, Sense Angel. Now, this is a new website selling niche and indie niche samples from fragrance brands that you know and never heard of. So, before blind buying like somebody we know, you have the opportunity to get an actual sample like a normal human being and not a fool like me spending all this money and actually try it out, see if it works for you. And not only can you buy the sample, you can purchase the full bottle from the website as well. So they were gracious enough to send me a couple of samples that I selected from the website of a fragrance house that I'd never heard of, but the title of one of the fragrances alone brought me intrigue. So I said, why not? Now I did have the presentation, which really was a standard shipping box with a bunch of flibbery inside protecting the two 10 ml samples. But of course I throw all boxes away. I rarely keep any boxes other than those two that are just there for a purposes because I don't need fragrance boxes. However, I do have the two samples and they are both from the house of Melej. And the first one, this is the one that caught my attention is Winter Melon. And the next one is Very Cherry Rose Chocolate Patchouli. So I have smelled these two fragrances on the first impressions. We're gonna be revisiting them today and I will pull up the notes on these fragrances. Now, spoiler alert, this house was a crazy experience for me. I'd never heard of the House of Melege. I have seen the presentation of the bottle scrolling through discoveries on Instagram, but I've never experienced anything from this house. So fortunate enough, I was able to get it through Sense Angel to actually try this out and see if this is a house that I wanna continue experiencing. Now, Winter Melon, spraying this on the initial video, which is now long gone, probably dead somewhere in the meta universe or whatever, was an experience and a half. Not just Winter Melon, the other one was also, but I never, ever smelled such a photorealistic cantaloupe smelling fragrance ever. First of all, let's be clear. Cantaloupe is not something that's super prevalent in perfumery, however, this is just a liquefied cantaloupe smell. Let's revisit. Let's spray this shit on the test strip right now because I want to go through that same visceral reaction. I haven't smelled it since I recorded the video last, but let's go right into it. If this doesn't smell like my grandmother's fruit salad that was sitting in the fridge, I don't know what else. It my old lady loved her a fruit salad. It had to be a homemade fruit salad, and she used to OD with the honeydew melon. Honeydew melon cantaloupe with little slivers of chopped strawberries and, and the grape joints. That was her shit. This smells wild like cantaloupe. Shit, it's crazy. But after that first two minutes would start popping up, smells like pure cacao. This joint is a walking edible arrangements that you just purchased for someone. If you've ever bought an edible arrangements, you know all those chocolate covered fruits. This is a soul based cantaloupe dipped chocolate fruit edible arrangement that came to your crib. For the cantaloupe lover in you, this is what this fragrance smells like. There's hints of greenery in here, there's aquatic nuances, maybe a little sprinkle of salt on that chocolate. But all this is, is cantaloupe and chocolate, which is not a combination that I know of in any other perfume that I've personally experienced. And it is something that is quite eclectic and unique, which is also fun. I don't know how people would feel about this particular fragrance as cantaloupe and chocolate, other than being edible, doesn't scream sexy to me. But if you're into gourmand fragrances and you like semi-sweet chocolate and cantaloupe and you want to experience something that smells so fucking photorealistic, this has to be one of the top photorealistic fragrances that I personally have experienced. It's insane if you do not pick up cantaloupe 
and chocolate in this shit. Now, when I first saw the name, which was very cherry rose chocolate patchouli, what I first popped into my head was maraschino cherries. Like old maraschino cherries that were sitting in your crib, you literally bought the jar for one occasion and they've been there for over 12 months sitting in that liquid, sopping up. That's what I thought of this fragrance, which I was absolutely wrong. This is more of a dark cherry, not maraschino, mixed with chocolate and patchouli, which is a perfect rendition based on the name. Now this one smells wild off the skin, super gourmandy. It does smell a little bit like the inside of that chocolate covered cherry with that dripping inside, but a little bit more tart and milky. There is a dairy component in here that definitely smells like it's on the verge of being a haagen ice cream of some sort, being whipped up into some elegant dessert about to be slapped on a cone with a big ass banana and some drizzle over it. Now this fragrance was only a one-time wear for me as I haven't had it for that long. And what it did on the dry down is really where the magic happens. The orris root that's in this fragrance really pops up and really gives it this nice chocolatey cherry vibe with some powdery nuance that sounds a little bit off-putting and puts it to the left of gourmand. It's got this milk thistle kind of thing about it that really makes it smell like an elegant, bougie dessert. So the notes in this fragrance are black cherry, lychee, rose, dark chocolate, patchouli, milk, vanilla, and orris butter. This one is an absolute delight to wear for a gourmand lover on skin. Now this fragrance house does not sell cheap fragrances. I believe they're in the space of $200 plus. Now taking a $200 blind buy dive is only something an idiot would do. But if you have something like a senseangel.com, which I'll put a promo code below because they did sponsor and they are giving you a little bit of a break, you can experience these individual houses that you never had the opportunity to before spending the cash on a big bottle and then hating the shit and having to flip, swap, or sell that shit later. Fortunately, if you do like the bottle, you can purchase it from their website as well. I don't know if there's any discount involved in that aspect, but you guys can check out the website. I appreciate them sponsoring this video and definitely letting me experience this house, which, Honestly, based on these two first impressions, I'm curious on more fragrances from this line and seeing how creative and how photorealistic they can get because this just put me onto something that I've never experienced before. And if you know the House of Milaj, you know the kind of visceral reaction that I'm talking about. Please share the comment below if you've ever smelled anything from this house and one that I should definitely try. And shout out to senseangel.com for sponsoring this video. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the gang, smooches. Who I know, 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 Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would... <laughs>